Hi there, I'm Barry Dublin, reporting for Board Game Geek here at the Cannes Festival de Jeu 2020. Joining me is Enzo Bianca from Lumi Editions, and they are going to show us Guardians of Legends. Hello guys, so Guardians of Legends is about mm -hmm. treasure hunt. Okay. So basically, you've got a treasure hidden in some island and you have to let other player to find where is your uh, treasure. Okay. And the good thing is that every player will play at the same time. So every player will have some island mm -hmm. and, to, uh, and will let other player to, to find where it is. So it's kind so, of community yeah, cooperative? Kind of, yep. but uh, at the end of the game, the player with more uh, gold coin will win the game. Okay. So how do you do that? You will use postcard. And so on those postcard, you will have to find a clue. Yep. Come so. Perfect. Okay, perfect. You will have to find a clue to let other player to find where is your island. So on every postcard, there is always a direct link or an indirect link mm -hmm. uh, with all the island on the game. So for example, my island is this one. I can put um, uh, a, uh, it on the, in the middle. Uh, yep. In the middle. I can put a clue on the fire. Okay, it's a direct link like to the volcano. Oh, but sometimes I don't have a direct link and I will use like for example the color or maybe the shape of the island to mm -hmm. let other player or will I will uh, yeah, put you, uh, you could use for example that round circle to indicate the exactly, top of the location. Exactly. The, the, okay, the volcano. And um, every player will put uh, the um, the it uh, the hint, a little flesh a little, a little hint, hint, a little hint little at the same time of the postcard and as soon as you put your hint on the postcard you will travel and go and find the other island with your exploiting boat. Okay. So you've got boat with your color, mm -hmm. and uh, in the, uh, above the boat, you, uh, the boat, you've got the color of the other player. Yeah. So if you think this one is for the, you the will the volcano is for the green player, you will take your red boat yep. with the green color uh, uh, above yep. and put your boat on it. Okay. Um, if there is another boat coming, it will just come uh, pop and put his boat on the top of yours. And the end of the turn, when every player has put two boats, only two boats, no more, mm -hmm. you flip the boat and see if it's correct or not. Okay. If it's correct, you will win the amount of the treasure on it, the player that find the island, and the player that let all the player to guess where is this island. Okay. okay. And so the game is uh, starting like that. And uh, when the island is fine, you will flip the tide. Okay. It. So it eliminates a lot more of the island. So you, when the next round, yeah. everyone draws a new island. Exactly. And uh, so there is a different level in the game. Mm -hmm. So this is the family level, yep. the basic one. But uh, you can have uh, more complexity uh, with not flipping the island. You've got some treasure with special power that will be activated. Okay. And there is a special thing with this game. It's because we put a game in a game. All right. So <laughs> Explain. Uh, you have to imagine there is kind of a ghost player that puts some int in 10 different postcards in the game. Okay. Those int, it's like riddle, and you can solve this riddle to find the exact localization of a treasure really hidden somewhere in the world. Okay. You can solve everything from your place. You don't have to move to find special clue uh, somewhere else, except when you've got the exact localization. Yeah. Then you have to go there, and uh, take uh, dig it up and take from the ground a wooden chest. Yeah. If you find this wooden chest, you will change this wooden chest to this thing. Yep, these things. It's a uh, golden egg uh, with uh, 600 different type of diamonds worth uh, 250000 A real dollars. treasure. A real treasure. Hidden in inside a board game. game. Yep. That is incredible. It is. Uh, that's the idea. We, we, yeah, we put a, a game in the game like that. You can continue the game outside yep. the box. Okay. And I must say, the artwork that you have is phenomenal. These really, really detailed works of art. And there's plenty of things that people can attribute a clue to or, you know, correspond. Because each tile in each island has a myriad of things on it. 
from mushrooms and leaves to statues and boats and probably monsters as well. Lanterns yep. floating, I can see. And kind of Cthulhu tentacles rising out of the sea. This is a beautiful looking game. Thank you very much. There, there had uh, two uh, artists uh, working on the on this uh, detail. Mm -hmm. uh, a postcard takes a week of work and there I is uh, 36 uh, postcards in the game. Okay. And that's a semi-cooperative game, yes? Yep. But for two to... Uh, three to five player. Two to five. Three to, three three to, three to five. five. Three to five players. And it's available at the moment? Europe. Yep, it's available in Europe and uh, you can uh, order online uh, in the USA. Okay. And there you have it, a treasure hunting family fun where you can actually find a real treasure and win yourself a lot of treasure. That's Guardians of Legends.